going to give this a chance to uh, some people to come in before I walk down the line for E3. And uh, so this is just one part of it, because there are two main halls, and the line is broken up into several different things. So this is just one hall, one part of the line that I'm going to walk down. So uh, I'll go ahead and start here in a few seconds. All right. Thank you for the birthday wish, Mom. All right. This is the front line here, basically. Let's take a walk down here. At noon, those doors open. All right, that's just the front. I don't know if this is technically the line here. They're doing some sort of presentation here, but the line goes really far outside too. Let's see if we can see any of that or if it's too clustered. This is where the world looks to Los Angeles and says, what's coming next? Excuse me. It is the home. It's the home for risk taking and investment. We're very, very pleased to be here with Mayor Garcetti. Mayor Garcetti being here to open the show for us is absolutely a fantastic crowding moment for uh, this event here in Los Angeles. The mayor is So most importantly, where I'm standing right now is where the choir at the beginning of Face Off is. Uh, this is where Caster Troy stands and he does his little priest dance. And then he comes over here where I'm standing right now is where uh, the choir is singing. And Caster Troy grabs that girl's butt and has an orgasm. So uh, that's the E3 update here. I'll look around, see if there's any more uh, like obvious line stuff. Oh god, I think I found another part of the line. So I've walked both the halls too, and it's definitely one of the most underwhelming years as far as like obviously the reveals. Uh, you know, there's some really really cool stuff, but it wasn't a huge year. Uh, but like walking around the show floor, there's not a whole lot going on. They haven't seemed to have uh, changed much of the way it's laid out to accommodate the public. So we'll see once the doors open how they accommodate all this. Oh, hi. Oh, you're doing my thing. I think you're on Periscope. Oh, hey, everyone. Game Informer. Okay, so this is some other part of the line. And this costs what, like three hundred dollars a person, I think, to come. I might be wrong with that. Maybe two fifty. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, we're nowhere near the end of this. Keep in mind, this is the line to get into the show floor. Once you're in there, every single kiosk has a line. So this is the line to get into a bunch more lines.
Yeah, that's actually my first one right now. It's for mine. Yeah, I was here like 2014 and it was like a lot of fun. So I'm kind of like, I mean, it's really fun. Yeah. I'm just kind of nervous because it's like public now. So I'm like, I don't know what's going to change. That's what we're curious about. Once the doors open, is what it's going to be like. Yeah. So, yep. Oh, uh, everybody gets it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good show. Yeah. Uh, I saw someone in the chat asked if Press has their own entrance. No, it's the same entrance, but uh, you just have your badges already, and so you can get in. This is mine. I'm with the... Uh, I'm with GameSpot.com. It's your source for video games. What's up, Dan? Hey, how's it going? I feel bad when fans come up while I'm periscoping, because I, I hope I don't seem too distracted and trying to get away from them. Oh, let's peek out here. Hang on. Yeah. They're going to be part of this, too. <laughs> 